Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT with your virtual assistant? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, one of the cool ways that you can use ChatGPT is actually sharing that experience with your assistant. And the reason why you want to do this is so then you're not the one doing a lot of the prompts that I've been doing on this this channel. Now, I have been creating a lot of ChatGPT related content in the last three months. And for a lot of them, you can actually just give it to your assistant. You don't have to be the person actually doing a lot of the prompts and the tasks that I've talked about that you can use ChatGPT with. A lot of the reason why I have created a lot of this content is to kind of give you that jump start so you have some knowledge on how to use ChatGPT, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you, again, you have to be the one actually doing the work. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step different ways that you can use ChatGPT with your virtual assistant. So one of the first ways that you can start using ChatGPT with a virtual assistant is to first identify the tasks that you can use with ChatGPT. Now this is kind of where all of the videos and the content that I've been using or doing in the last three months come in because then you're starting to see throughout your business what are the things that can be easily automated, what are the things that are repetitive, what are the things that it doesn't have to be always created from scratch every single time. Now you guys can go into a lot of the playlists that I've created on here on what you can do with ChatGPT, but that's the first step of this is you as an entrepreneur has to be the one to start identifying what are the things that you are comfortable automating with ChatGPT and what are the things that you know has to be done manually or by a person because it's harder to edit or redo later on. And again, if you need, just need more ideas on what those tasks can be, feel free to check out the other videos on this channel. Now, once you've identified these tasks, I just funnily call them task GPT, which basically is like, hey, these are now the list of tasks that we can automate with ChatGPT. You wanna go into ChatGPT now. You wanna go into the ChatGPT and hopefully you will have the same kind of prompts that you'll generate with your assistant. So again, they're the ones running the prompts. It doesn't have to be you. So the first thing that you'll put into ChatGPT as you're trying to figure out with your assistant, and ideally this will be something where you guys have multiple Zoom calls as you're discussing what are the things that you are open to automating with ChatGPT. First thing you wanna do, as I have taught in a lot of these videos, is before you start or request anything from ChatGPT is to use the WO method. So the WO method simply said is just kind of giving ChatGPT the context of who you are and what you need. A mistake I've seen a lot of people do is they just input what they need from ChatGPT right off the bat without giving context. That's why they're getting a lot of generic responses. So on the WO method, we just copy and paste this. So basically the WO method is you start with a W, which is the who you are, what you do, and who you serve. So on here, I put just, I run an AI consulting business where we consult and create prompts to be used for ChatGPT to automate their business for service-based business owners. So here I just, again, introduced myself and what we do. And then on the WO, on the O of it, is the outcome or expertise that you need from ChatGPT. Like what do you need help with. So here I just put, I need you to be our business consultant and strategist specializing in systems. Since that's basically what we're going to be doing with this whole video is just creating systems to have ChatGPT just be automated for you and your virtual assistant. Now the A in woe is are you ready? It's just making sure that ChatGPT understands what it is that you're asking it to do. Now the H of woe is, I rarely really use it, but it is helpful to keep in mind sometimes. It's just the how. Do you want it to this to be in a funny voice? Do you want this to be professional? Do you want this to be straightforward? No fluff, up to you. But again, I usually I really use the H depending on what task I need automated with ChatGPT. So with that, let's hit enter. It usually is a, yep, understand you know what it is that you need from me. So one of the first things is now as you've identified what are the tasks or you know, task GPT things that you and your assistant can easily just give into ChatGPT, is you wanna make sure that you start creating similar or the same ChatGPT prompts for you and your assistant. So an example of a task GPT prompt uh, is basically creating email responses, right? So then you wanna make sure that you guys have the same prompt every single time for the same task. So 
So for example, here, write an email response to a customer inquiring about our AI consulting services in a way that's funny, since ChatGPT is writing the response itself and how their tasks can be easily automated with ChatGPT. Below is their email. So I'm just making this up. Um, but however, this now becomes like this here, as you've started identifying what are the tasks that you want to automate with ChatGPT, you can now just use this as a copy and paste between the two of you. It doesn't have to be just you. So then the responses are kind of similar. You are adapting the same brand voice. You have, again, having that similarity of the output. So it doesn't have to be that they would need, you know, your assistant would need your login. They can just use their own chat GPT, you know, account for themselves. So with that, let me see what chat GPT will come up with. So. It's writing up the subject line, it's writing up the dear customer name, blah, blah, blah. So then it's writing out that email for you. If you've identified email writing as now one of the tasks uh, that you can just use ChatGPT for. Now, I do recommend that for every task that you do, you have a separate chat that you've created with ChatGPT. That way, anytime that this same task comes up, it's easy to copy and paste the inquiry that you need it for. Um, so for example, let's say for the email writing, this is now the email writing chat GPT thread or chat that you're using. If it's going to be for automating the marketing posts, then having a separate one for that. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just have it all in one place. But ideally, you'll be doing these in different chats. So you'll see here, like I have different types of chats on here. We have like the content social media management, we have the sales assistance, we have the virtual assistant systems expert. So here, you every single type of task that you need help with, I will put here. And on my actual personal account of ChatGPT, I will even have different voices and writers depending on who I need it for. Like I have one for my business to XU. I have a writer for my own voice. I have a writer for the different kind of businesses that I also have. So it's easy for me to request things from ChatGPT just because again, using the wool method, I've made it very custom for myself and who I need it for. And now that I've identified what tasks I can automate with ChatGPT, it's going to be so much easier for me to keep asking ChatGPT to do that task. Now, the next way that you can use ChatGPT with your assistant is creating processes. Now, if you haven't automated yet or created any of these standard operating procedures for you and your assistant, ChatGPT can help make that streamlined super fast and easy. Now, a quick prompt that you can use for creating processes in your business is just a quick write up a standard operating procedure for how we should respond to questions about services based on the current available templates. So again, it will just create that documentation for you. So then now moving forward, you and your assistant have a way of having a checklist basically of how you guys are doing a particular process or task in your business. And as a business owner, this is honestly one of the biggest ways that you can scale yourself or free yourself up because someone else knows the process that you know. So right here, you'd already have then a step-by-step -step process on how you're doing this. Of course, please customize this as much as possible to what makes sense to you and your business. Don't just leave it as is or accept this as is, but then you now have a guide or a way for you and your assistant to do this task or process. Next thing that you can use ChatGPT for with your assistant is creating templates. Just like how easy and quick it was to create the process, it can also be quick and easy to create templates that you can then now use moving forward, just as copy and paste thing for common queries basically or common things that need to be generated in your business so as a quick example on here create an easy copy plus paste social media response template for possible customers for the business inquiring about our services so then this can be created into a template that you guys have on google doc or for us on notion that can now be easily just grabbed whenever it is needed in the business this can be contracts these can be documents these can be client pages these can be again email templates or social media templates. It can be almost anything that you need to be templatized. That's why the first part is identifying what are those repetitive things that can be automated by ChatGPT. And then voila, you already have something that you can easily just copy and paste whenever you have the same questions over and over again from potential clients or customers for your business. Next way that you can use ChatGPT when it comes to working with your virtual assistant is creating drafts for content. So basically we've been creating content for this whole time, but I specifically mean for your social media content, for your content marketing itself. Now ChatGPT, honestly, when it comes to content marketing is it's one of its biggest superpowers. It just can create content upon content upon content. So what I'm gonna walk you through is how do you actually start generating that for yourself? So let me copy and paste a 
prompt over here of create a draft for five social media posts to promote our business. Can be as easy as that. Doesn't have to be this big complicated thing. Uh, but now it's going to start creating your posts for you based on the context that you've given it when you introduced yourself with the woe method. So then it'll just right there, just like supercharge your business with AI magic, unleash the potential of AI in your marketing strategy, so on and so forth. So it's just that quick and easy and how amazing it is to just start automating a lot of the tasks that you guys are doing in to chat gpt and again the important thing is you guys you and your assistant start saving what are the prompts that have worked so then you guys basically now have a database of prompts that will work now speaking of a database of prompts i will want to mention that we do have the product the ai prompt assistant which is basically a collection and database of different tasks and different prompts that you can use with those tasks using ChatGPT. If you guys want to check that out, feel free to go into the description. Now, the next thing you can do with ChatGPT with your virtual assistant is creating strategy. So this is something more of you training your assistant on how to utilize ChatGPT when it comes to creating strategy. Let's say they want to create a project, they want to do something else, they want to create a new goal for your business. You're essentially training your assistant how to use ChatGPT to do just that. So as a quick, quick example on here, create a strategy on how we can have more clients for our business. So then you can break this down, you can create this into projects, you can create this into processes or plans for the business. So again, it doesn't have to be just you creating a lot of these processes and these strategies for your business. You're slowly starting to train your assistant how to be independent enough to be able to do this. Now, one of the biggest things so you can use ChatGPT when it comes to working with your virtual assistant is go ahead and creating and managing projects. Now, what I mean by that is if you're someone who you don't really have an idea of what projects you want to create in your business or what are the things that what would be the steps, what would that look like? ChatGPT could become basically your project manager. So just copy and pasting this. Uh, what would be the five projects we can do in our business to further scale? So then it will break down what will be the five projects that you can do with your virtual assistant. So it doesn't have to be you just generating a lot of these ideas. So now, as we now have these different projects, I will grab one of them. So I'll grab this prompt of, can you break down timelines and milestones for the projects? We would know when we're on the right track. So I'll grab this, this project right here. And then uh, basically it will say, can you break down timelines and milestones for implement AI driven internal processes project? So we know, you know, we would know when we're on the right track. So right there, it'll do project initiation. It will give you the timeline for the project. So again, you don't have to start this from scratch. You can then just edit this, make it make sense for your business of what actually is the real thing based on current projects or tasks that you guys are working on. But it's just a really cool way that then you can grab this process or this whole document, put it into a Google Doc or a shared document with you and your assistant, and they can start breaking this down, putting it into your task or project tracker, just make the whole process just a little bit easier for yourselves. And you don't have to struggle, you don't have to go back and forth, because then you can just edit what this would actually look like for your business. And there's a ton of really good applications on how you can use ChatGPT for your business. And if you have any ideas, any questions, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to create more and more of these videos for you so then you can learn how to fully utilize ChatGPT and use it as your superpower. Now, if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. And you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.